Good evening, attendees, member of Homeowner Association and Office of Council Member Kim, uh, Kerry Moon. Um, today's community meeting is for East Fort Street, East Fort Street, Phase 1, Share Use Path and Sidewalk Connection. City Project Number 103153. Today is January 6, 2022. It's about 6.05 p.m. The agenda for today's meeting is I'm going to talk about the, briefly talk about the project background uh, and its location. Also talk about the existing condition and, and proposed improvement, what we are doing. And um, at the end, uh, I will talk about the project schedule and budget. And after the presentation, we will take any question or comment uh, that you may have regarding this project. Uh, before I talk about the project goal, um, I want you all to introduce the project team. I believe today we have uh, Nolan Pierce. He's with the Kimley Horn and Associates. He's an engineer of record for this project. Um, we also have Martin Phyllis. Um, He's a senior capital project officer for TPW Capital Delivery. Uh, I see uh, Jeremy Williams. He's a senior planner for TPW. And um, Jeff Allen, who is a senior communication specialist for TPW Capital Delivery. And there should be someone from the contractor. I believe Martin Wiggs uh, from uh, the Penn Group uh, should be on the line as well. Yes, sir, um, I am. Okay, thank you. And um, uh, myself, I'm Iskal Tresa, I'm the project manager for this project uh, with the TPW Capital Delivery, and I will be responsible for day-to-day -day operation of this project. Um, that being said, I want to um, kind of explain the project goal. The goal of this project is to provide safe and comfortable user experience for all travelers along the project corridor, whether by foot, bicycle, or vehicle. This project is also provides the connectivity and increased safety. This project has two phases. Um, the limit of the project is from I-35 to Lake Havasu Trail, but this project has two phases. Um, today we will be mostly focusing towards um, phase one. Uh, today's meeting is for the phase one. The phase one it starts at the Halton Road and ends at the, at the Lake Havasu Trail. The phase two, which is on the street bike lane, is from Halton Road to I-35. And again, today we are mostly going to be talking about the phase one because that's that's the project that we pretty soon in a hearing few weeks we we are going to construction. Uh, before I talk about the, um, our project, I want, I'm, I'm pretty sure you all are aware of this Dallas downtown to Fort Worth uh, downtown regional trail. Um, as you can see on your screen, to our, towards your um, right, uh, this is a Dallas downtown. And over here, this is where uh, the Fort Worth downtown is. And our project location is around here, the blue circle, the oval circle. That's where our project is. Um, as far as the legend goes, the, blue, uh, the green, green line with the yellow highlighted is the existing trail system. Um, it's about 50 mile, 50 mile of them is already already there. Um, the, the green line with the um, gray said is either under construction or is already been funded uh, for the construction. Um, but the green line with the red one is still needs, needs the funding. I think I'm, if I, you may be asking why I'm showing this, our project is kind of um, related are connected to the trail system. That's why I included this slide. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is on next slide, I'm going to zoom in towards the Fort Worth downtown and explain on detail um, the, uh, the connection between our project to the, the Trinity Trail system. As you can see, this is a green line with the yellow highlight is the existing uh, Trinity Trail system and the phase one of the project is from between Halton Road is right here. The green line, dash line, is the phase one of the project. Phase two of the project is from Halton Road to I-35. What happens is after the completion of phase one and phase two, 
if someone is coming from the Dallas downtown or, or, or Arlington or Grand Ferry taking uh, this regional trail or any part of East Fort Worth using this regional trail system, then as soon as they get into the Gateway Park, they will have a choice basically whether to continue the trail system to go to the downtown or using the alternative route that phase one and phase two are going to provide to get to the downtown. That's why our project is kind of related to that trail system. Now I want to talk about the existing condition. Um, uh, the existing condition for the phase one um, is basically limited from Halton Road to the uh, Lake Abasu Trail. Um, there is no bike or pedestrian connection from the Gateway Park from here to the west. Um, and there is no pedestrian access from there's no pedestrian access from the uh, Lake Avatar Trail to, to the um, Oakland Boulevard. There are no sidewalks currently there. As you can see on the pictures that's um, to your left and right, these pictures were taken right by Halton Road looking east. Um, as you see, there is no sidewalk and people are walking on the median and there is no dedicated bike lane and people uh, um, existing, there's no de dedicated bike lane. And as far as also the, um, according to the police record, there was one fatality and two injuries in 2018 at this right around this location, right east of the Halton Road, uh, and that that accident had happened between vehicle and bicycle. Now, proposed condition: what we are doing is we will be providing a 10 foot wide shared use path. Um, and we are, there will be five foot of buffer uh, between the travel lane and and and, and the shared use path, which is going to provide more most comfortable user experience for both pedestrian and the bicycle. And from Halton Road to Disposal Road, uh, Disposal Road, the shared use path is going to be right south uh, of the East Foss Street. Now, this portion of the work from the disposal road to, uh, to the Gateway Park that connects to the North Entrance parking lot is recently been installed. Um, those two pictures were taken standing on the disposal road looking, looking east. As you can see, we already have the path, a 10 foot wide uh, serious path. Um, but as far as, as, as part of this project, what we are going to do is we're going to do the pavement marking and signage so that it can be easily uh, identified as a serious path for the people who's going to take this um, uh, alignment uh, to get to the downtown. And we are also do, doing some modification at the intersection of Oakland and East Foss Street um, for the safety improvements. We are also going to be doing some payment marking and signage. We will be installing sidewalks from Lake Havasu Trail to Oakland Boulevard so that the people who live in this neighborhood can walk from there and it connects to the Trinity Trail system and they can get they can walk to the Gateway Park if if they want to. Now, now I want to talk about the schedule. We recently uh, executed a, a task order to the contractor. The pain group is going to be the contractor for this project. Um, they will start uh, working here in a few weeks. And they have 120 days to complete this project and substantial completion um, as of now is in April of 2022. Uh, funding, is, this project is funded uh, with the 2018 bond fund. I think that concludes the, the today's presentation for the phase one. Um, I think you can unmute um, and ask any question that you or comments that you may have regarding this project. But if your question is outside the project scope or project corridor, we may or may not have answer for you now. What I would recommend is um, uh, send me your contact information with your question, and I will get the answer for you. My contact information is here. Now you can uh, please uh, ask your question if you have any. Scott, this is Martin. Um, I don't have a question, but I do appreciate you kind of showing that full context of the trails and how everything is going to connect ultimately. I know a lot of cyclists who 
uh, get out there and, and ride. We'll really appreciate that and we'll appreciate this project. So thanks. Thank you for doing that. Not a, not a problem, Martin. Yeah, actually, I met with the, uh, with the folk last week who was really excited about this project and he was saying this alternative route would save him a lot of time to get to the downtown. Absolutely. I agree. And definitely the floor is open if uh, anybody on the call or on the uh, meeting has any questions. Uh, now's the time to uh, unmute and go ahead and ask, ask away. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, Tom McAfee. I'm, I'm the owner of the trucking company on East First Street here. And can you tell me if either one of the, which one of the fire hydrants is going to go in the dry, in my driveway? Or are they both going to remain or? Uh, I believe the both, if there is two fire, we are not replacing or removing any of the fire hydrant, if I'm correct. Nolan, I may have to defer this question back to you. Um, can you please answer uh, his question? Tom, where are you located? I'm at, uh, I'm at uh, the trucking company at uh, Halterman. I got 22 acres, so I own all, everything from Halterman all the way to, to Disposal Road. No, and I think it is, this is the same property owner that we uh, worked uh, for the trees, uh, if I'm correct. That is, that's correct. I'm with the tree person, right. Gotcha. Yeah, any existing fire hydrants there, we're not impacting with this project. They're both within the 10 foot between. Ten, within 10 feet of the road, both of them though. That's why I'm asking. Okay, we'll have to go back and look because I'm not, um, I'm not sure that they're, that I understand where those are. So um, everything's on the south side of the road, which is, I believe is your side and we're removing correct. one of your existing driveways that's got a barrier there, correct? That is correct, yep. Right, yes. where are the hydrants related to there? They're on my other driveway, the ones on each side of my other driveway, the main driveway, the gotcha. one on each side. Gotcha. Yeah. So our, our, our limits are, go ahead, Eskol. Yeah, our limits, uh, Tom, is right there in over here. From here on, it's going to be on the street, on the street bike lane. That's why we we will not be impacting um, your driveway over here. But but we will be converting this drive. We will be closing this driveway based on your and our conversation. I, uh, I believe that you requested this driveway to be closed and we are doing that. And uh, right. we are not touching any hydrants around here. Our limits is right there. Okay, all right. That answered my question, all right. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Right. Anybody else has any question? It looks like um, no one else has, has any question. If none, then what I, um, again, thank you everyone for attending. And again, if you have any questions uh, during construction or anything like that, just ca uh, call me or email me. Let me, uh, let me put my contact information back again so that you can have it. Um, just, you can call me at my office number and email me and I'll get back to you either the same day or if not, the next day for sure. Could you read both of those out for the people that are on phones? They may uh, not have access to the slide. So. Sure. Uh, again, uh, the, my office number is 817-392-7254. And my email address is ISKAL.SHRESTHA. T H A at FortWorthTexas.gov, and this information should be on the flyer that was sent it to um, by mail. All right, everyone. Just Thank in you case. Very much. Uh, 
Right. I was just going to say it's called just in case Fort Worth, Texas. That's all spelled out on our, on our emails as well. That is correct. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That's called great presentation. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, everyone. Hope to see you all on the trails. Yes, thanks, everybody.